Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects plugin quick tip tutorial. In this one, I'm going to briefly going over a quick tip on how to deal with pixel ranges above the recommended in 8 and 16 bits per channel. Uh, this is basically to say that anything above the already given range of a char or a short type variable or anything in the negative values will cause you errors in your plugins. Uh, if it's a 32 bits per pixel plugin that's float, negative values and values above 1.0 are always allowed because that's just how the nature of float works. So today I'm just going to be discussing real quick how to deal with this issue, more about it, and we'll get on with making some awesome plugins. Before we get started, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out my GitHub for coding updates where I post lots of useful tips and projects. Follow us there for coding updates, of course. You can also check out in the description the After Effects scripts link to my product page where you can download or purchase products to improve your workflow and support the channel. And of course, you can follow on Instagram as well for other live updates. If you're not already a member in the Discord server, make sure you join down below. You can get help with scripting, extensions, After Effects and Premiere plugins, UXP plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, hang out with our knowledgeable and friendly members, and much more. And if you'd like to help support the channel on YouTube, there's a link in the description. You can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. This comes with a Discord membership status, weekly tutorial polls, uh, monthly and weekly Q&A live streams, and uh, receiving code in advance. This is a great way to support the channel and uh, get cool perks at the same time. All right, so I'm just going to be referencing this old video I made because since that video, I've discovered something useful uh, in plugin making that can come across as an error and cause weird pixel issues. So if you haven't already checked out this video, uh, make sure you hit the little I button right there to check it out and get this quick tip tutorial on pixel ranges for different bits per channel. This of course refers specifically to After Effects, we're talking about RGBA pixels. Uh, you have 8 bits per channel, 16 bits per channel, and 32 bits per channel in After Effects. An 8 bits per channel pixel is basically a char variable type. This puts it in the range between 0 and 255 for the values for each of the red, green, blue, and alpha channels. Anything at zero is gonna be basically black, and anything up to 255 is more towards the white side of things. Uh, 16 bits per channel is a short type character. We're only using these AU type variables because they're specific to After Effects plugins, but this is a short variable which ranges from zero to 32,767. And then lastly, for float, uh, this is for 32 bits per channel, it's an FP short or a short type variable, which ranges between zero and 1.0. Now just to reiterate, a 32 bits per channel pixel is not applicable to this tutorial because a float type variable or a float type number is both allowed to be above and beyond the bounds that you define it as well as in the negative. So if you have a channel or a pixel whose value is negative one, negative seven, or positive 10, positive 100, you will still get these values displayed. If it's in the negative range, I believe, depending of course if it's in the alpha or color channels, you're going to get something that is transparent or just pure black. If you're above, you're going to get what's called super brights, which is allowed in 32 bits per channel when something is basically brighter than the brightest white possible. That out of the way, what happens if you have a negative value or a value above 255 for 8 bits per channel pixels, or a value above 32,767 for a 16 bit pixel? Well, the answer is you're gonna get some weird results. If you've ever experienced the strange result where you get random bright colors or rainbow patterns in your plugin, or pure black with lots of splotches, this can be basically recognizable by a pixel overflow of some kind. And the main one, again, in today's video that I wanna talk about is if your value is above this range, above 255, above 32,767, or in the negative range below zero for an eight or 16 bits per channel pixel, you're going to get some weird value. It might automatically clamp that to zero and keep it above in the negatives, or if you have a negative value, sometimes it can just make it pure uh, green, basically. If it's on the green channel, it'll do that. If it's on the red channel, it'll become pure red. And you might just notice you're getting pure primary or mix secondary colors. And that is usually a cause, again, a pixel overflow. And that can often be because your eight or 16 bit pixel is below zero or above 255 or 32,767. 
Yes, I'm saying those numbers a lot, but the more you say them, the more intuitive it becomes and the easier you can type these out and do the math in your plugins. So lastly, what do you do if your pixel is coming across as that value? Simply clamp it. You can have a, a function set up to clamp 8 bits, 8 bits per channel pixels that simply says, if the pixel channel value, or the red value, the green value, the blue value, the alpha value, if any one of those are below zero, set the value to be zero exactly. If you find that it's above 255 or above 32,767, then tell it to be maxed out at that, that value. You don't have to do this all the time, but I do recommend if you're doing complicated math or get weird results, try clamping your pixels to the appropriate range they belong in. If it's a float pixel, you may want to clamp it too if it's in the negative range, but you can get away with a lot more with 32 bits. But that's gonna do it for this quick tip, guys. I hope that explains it. Just make sure you clamp your eight and 16 bits per channel pixels in their appropriate ranges, and don't worry about 32 bits per channel. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. Down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can check out my GitHub, follow for coding updates. Also check out the AE Scripts link to download or purchase products to help improve your workflow and support me. As well in the description, you can follow on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of the Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, After Effects and Premiere plugins, UXP plugins, submit tutorial ideas, hang out with a lot of our members, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube, get cool perks like Discord membership status, live streams, emojis, and much more, become a channel member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. Link for that is in the description down below. Thanks again for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.